To play sounds in GameMaker, you actually don't need to do a lot. You just add your sound file to your project and then ask GameMaker nicely to play that sound when something happens. So the bullet hits a rock, bam, sound. The player hits a rock, bam, sound. I hit a rock, I wouldn't do that, that's not nice. So I made this game in another tutorial and in this video, we're going to add music and sound effects to it. I have this folder with all of my sounds. So I'll select these files and drag them into GameMaker inside the sounds group. They've now become sound assets in the project. So I'll go ahead and rename all of them so they are all consistent starting with SND underscore. And now let's figure out how to get the music playing. In my project, I have an object called OBJ game, which I've put in the game room. This handles all the things in the background. So it's a good place to play the game's music as well. Let's go and first add the room start event in this object. This event runs when the room starts. So it's a good place to play the music. So in this event, let's go and add this. So it's going to play the SND music sound asset. I'll set this to true to enable looping, which means when the music ends, it's going to repeat. And so you basically hear it forever until the end of the universe, until you manually stop it. To stop it, let's add the room end event, which runs when the room ends. And here, let's add this. This is going to stop the SND music sound asset. So logically, our music track starts playing when the room starts and it stops when the room ends. So this means if you have more rooms before this one or after this one, this track won't spill into the other rooms and it will stay in this one room. If you run the game, you will hear it play and you can bop to it for 6 hours before you realize it's too late and you need to sleep. So now it's time for the sound effects. First of all, let's play a sound effect when the player shoots. So for that, let's go into OBJ player. Here I have a step event which has this condition. This checks if the left mouse button is pressed and if it is pressed, it creates a bullet. So this is where we want to play the shooting sound effect. For that, I'll add this under the same condition. This will play SND shoot. And because this is a sound effect, you don't want it to loop. If you run the game, you can now hear the shooting sound effect. So it's great, but it's boring. You're hearing the exact same sound every single time and it becomes a little tiring. So we're going to make it more interesting by changing its pitch every time it plays. So back where I played the sound, this is the pitch parameter that we want to adjust. To get that in GML code, you first want to enter the gain and offset parameters, which are optional. So just enter their default values if you don't want to change them. And now you can change the pitch. I'll set the pitch to a random number in a range using this function. And that range will be 0.8 to 1.2. So every time the shoot sound effect plays, its pitch will be random between these numbers. And 1 is the default pitch, so it can be higher or lower than that. Run the game and you will hear it now. It'll sound a bit different each time it plays. Now we have two sound effects remaining. For the player losing, that's in this collision event with the rock. In this event, I'll play the losing sound effect, again with looping disabled. And now for the rock being destroyed, let's open obj rock and open its collision event with obj bullet. When this collision event happens, the rock is destroyed and we want to play a sound here. So in the event, I'll add this to play the rock destroy sound. And here also you can use a random pitch to make it sound more interesting. So run the game and now we have a complete audio experience with music and sound effects. If you found this useful, check out this other tutorial for some cool tips and tricks and I'll see you there.